Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to deploy Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 device using Microsoft Intune. Before we can work with apps, we must add them to Intune. One of the available app types is Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 or later devices. By selecting this app type in Intune, we can assign and install Microsoft 365 apps to Windows 10 devices which we manage using Intune. We can also assign and install apps for the Microsoft Project Online Desktop Client and Microsoft Visio Online Plan 2 if you own licenses for them. The available Microsoft 365 apps are displayed as a single entry in the list of apps in the Indian console within Azure. Keep on mind that Microsoft Office 365 Pro Plus has been renamed to Microsoft 365 apps. In this video, we are deploying Microsoft 365 apps to Windows 10 device that haven't got any previous version of Office installed. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Apps. Under By Platform, click on Windows. Click on Add. Click on drop down arrow to select app type. Select Windows 10 or later in the Microsoft 365 apps section. Click on the select button to continue with the Microsoft 365 apps creation process. In this step, we provide information about the app suit. This information helps us to identify the app suit in Intune and it helps users to find the app suit in the company portal application. On app suit information page, information will be automatically generated. If you want to change, you can do that. Change the app suit name and description as per your organization naming strategy. We are going to give name MSF Surat Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10. We will keep the rest information to default. Click next to continue. The options related to configuring Microsoft 365 apps deployment using Intune are important. This is where Intune will take help from the Office Configuration Designer tool to create a configuration file for our Microsoft 365 apps creation and deployment using Intune. We can choose a method for configuring app setting by selecting a configuration settings format. We have two options. Configuration designer is a straightforward way to go with. Using enter XML data option, we can create our own custom configuration file. We will go with configuration designer here as it makes the deployment easy. Depending on our requirement, we have to select the Microsoft 365 apps. For example, if you want only Microsoft Teams app to be deployed to Windows 10 devices, then only select Teams apps from the list. My recommended way is to select all the apps required and bundle them together as one Intune application. The Skype of business is excluded as Teams is the replacement. If you wish to select or deselect any apps, you can do so as per requirement. We are deploying the default selected Office apps. Select additional Office apps that you want to assign to devices and that you have licenses for by choosing the apps in the drop-down list. These apps include license apps such as 
Microsoft Project Online Desktop Client and Microsoft Visio Online Plan 2. Make sure to only select any of these apps when the required licenses are available. So we are not going to select them. Next, choose whether you want to assign the 32-bit or 64-bit version of Microsoft 365 apps. We'll go with 64-bit. Now we need to select default file format. Select Office Open XML format as a default file format. Next, we must select the update channel. Microsoft recommends monthly enterprise channel. With this channel, we provide our users with new Office features each month, but receive one update per month on a predictable release schedule. You can select the settings as it suits you. In this example, we will go with monthly enterprise channel. Select yes to remove other versions of Office from user devices. Choose this option when you want to remove pre-existing Office apps from end-user devices. The installation won't succeed if there are pre-existing .msi apps on end-user devices. Next, we have option version to install. Select the latest version because we want to deploy the latest version of Microsoft 365 apps on Windows 10 computers. Uh, let me click on specific. By using this option, uh, we can choose the version of Office that should be installed. We can select to install a specific version of Office for selected channel on end user devices. And from this drop down list, you can select the specific version. But in this example, we'll go with latest. Select user shared computer activation option when multiple users share a computer. Accept the Microsoft software license terms on behalf of user option if you don't require end user to accept the license agreement and that is selected by default. Intune then automatically accepts the agreement. For install background service for Microsoft search in Bing, we'll select no. By default, Intune will install Microsoft 365 apps with the default language of the operating system. You can choose any additional language that you want to install. For that, you need to click on this link and from this list, select your language. Now, I'm going to click on next. Now, let's discuss Microsoft 365 apps deployment or assignments options. Required apps are installed automatically on enrolled devices. Some platforms may have additional prompts for the end user to acknowledge before app installation begins. Available for enrolled devices apps are displayed in the company portal app and website for users to optionally install. Available assignments are only valid for user groups not device groups. Apps with uninstalled assignments are uninstalled from managed devices in the selected groups if Intune has previously installed the application onto the device via an available for enrolled devices or required assignment on the same deployment. Most of time, we will choose a required as a assignment type so that the Microsoft 365 apps will get automatically installed on all the Intune managed devices. But in this video, we will select available for enrolled devices so we can see the Microsoft 365 apps in company portal app before we can install it. Under available for enrolled devices, click on add group. From the list, select Taste Users Group. Click on Select, Taste User Groups, click Next. Review the summary and click on Create when you're ready. Wait for the confirmation message.
We can see the message, application, MS App Surat, Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 created successfully. Let's go to our Windows 10 device. On this Windows 10 device, we have sign in with the test user once user account, which is a member of our group test users. Remember, we have selected available for Android device option on assignment page. So we have to manually install the Microsoft 365 apps from company portal app. Let's open company portal app. Click on apps. We can see currently Microsoft 365 apps is not available in company portal app. We will perform the manual sync with Intune. Click on settings. Click on sync to start the sync process. Okay, sync is completed. Uh, click on apps. And after waiting for around 10 minutes, now we can see Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 is available to install. Let's click on it. Click on install to start the installation. This will download and install Microsoft 365 apps on our Windows 10 PC. As you can see, currently it is downloading the Microsoft 365 apps on our Windows 10 computer. This will take some time to download and install Microsoft 365 apps on this Windows 10 device. So I'm going to pause the recording. Once installation is completed, I'll resume it. Finally, Microsoft 365 apps has been successfully installed on our Windows 10 device. Click on Start button. We can see Word PowerPoint Outlook under Recently Added Software. Click on Word. Click on Blank Document. Here we go. So we can see the deployment of Microsoft 365 apps has been completed successfully. Go to run and type appviz.cpl and press enter key. We can see Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise is installed today. Uh, let me go back to company portal app and first of all I'm going to click on home. Click on apps. Here we can see it is installed and let me click on downloads and updates. Here we can see MS App Surat Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 devices installed successfully. Under status we can confirm it is installed. That's all for this video on how to deploy Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 device with Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.